Hello there, the favoured Harpoon are here, ready to hunt another Uragan. Weapon class this time is the Gain Lance, and the weapon of choice is the Red Rook. There's no new Gain Lances av available to me, no new upgrades, no new forges, so I'm going to be reusing previously seen Gain Lances. This time, the Red Rook has been chosen at random. It's pretty much one of the most powerful Gain Lances that you still have at this stage. Even though it's a fire elemental, you don't have to concern yourself too much about that with a uh, can lance and fire monsters because you'll be doing mostly damage from the shelling, which is bomb equivalents. Compared to most of the other can lances, it has the highest roll, see 345, and the rest are pretty much, yeah, the barrel bar to load is the only one that comes equal to it, although it has negative affinity. Okay, no, no, yeah. So, pretty much the most powerful can lance you can have. Long shot, shot level or shelling level 2, comes with a slot, and a lot of sharpness, so it's a really powerful weapon, even against fire monsters. Hopefully I will demonstrate that during this particular quest. Should be able to blow off the chin relatively easily. Anyway, a lot of fresh items this time around, a lot, at least more than usual. We could go for the fender, not going to go for any of those. Not interested in gathering sets, food sets. No, I think I just go for the standard defender height. Again, I'm using the Barrow armor set because of the guard plus one. Considering that I pretty much needed it for the Diablos, as most of his attacks were impossible to block properly or especially counter. But that's for the Gain Lance. Uh, for, sorry, for the Lance, not the Gain Lance. I'm guessing it's really similar to, to the Barrow. Although the Sword and Shield did manage to block three of its attacks. So that's the quest up. Those are the skills. I do have a Hunger, but that's not really much of a concern. You can easily negate that with just uh, rations and uh, engineer drinks. Guard plus one, heat cancel, that's nice. Defense and attack up. And speed gather, well, I'm gonna might be mining and gathering hergodromes. And might go for the bug as well. Although that's I think I'm not gonna do that too much this time. Just like last quest. Might look up if there's anything rare that you can get from the back, mining in the back. It's probably not not important, unimportant for the most part. It's just a little extra that you can do, if you choose to do so. No, nothing much here. Bit of bug. Basic bugs. Ooh, mm, should have kept right. Well, that's one Hercodrome down. About ten more to go, I think. Don't need hot and a cool drink either. So let's go straight for the paintball. My rockable, mineable rock, no, rockable mine. Anything of interest around here? The rocks seem to be standard. Nothing. Up the rings moving away. Oh, no, managed to spot me in time. That's nice. I'm have to chase it. Okay, it's gonna roll okay, and slam a bit. Hopefully, I can get it. Thank you. Nice, got it, but I'm gonna get hit by the tremor, yeah. I'm not going for tremor resistance this time around because I can block that effect if it's necessary. Right, so hello. Oh nice. No, oh, that's why. I didn't want to do that. Oh, and it missed completely. Sometimes it misses something that should be hitting you. At least when compared to other chin strikes that have a wide area of effect. The rapid one seems to be focused on where it actually hits. Oh, uh, that rock did that just spawned in. 
I just don't. I'm going to have to be mining it in fighting. Just because I want to get the rust shard. There we go. This is so stupid. You should really never do that kind of thing with a monster around. Okay, got my few hits. That's out. The problem here with shelling is I don't think there's a way I can shell without attacking once. Ah, I got hit from behind by one of the explosive rocks. So I'm just looking like pull off an attack that doesn't really bounce. Like that, I suppose. If I can just jab into close enough they're not actually hitting and then immediately follow by uh, shilling, should be okay. Is there a way to shell without attacking? Yes, but standard shilling, which is not. Oh, I can't block that. You cannot block the, the sleep gas. You can block the fire one, but not the sleep one. Unless you have a guard up, I believe. So I could go for standard shell into the chin, but... Oh, what? I can actually win fire. Well, I'm going to get by the raw, but at least I got another women fire off. Ooh, and I nearly got hit after coming out of the block. Re blocked immediately when I saw the attack coming. Not gonna mind that one. I'm not sure how good those rocks are, the blue ones. They might even be better than the ones I usually mine. Or maybe not. If it moves away, I might just mine it to see what it gives. Pay attention this time. I think it's moving away. Yes. So let's quickly mine here. I almost... Ooh, I'm full of items. Uh, let's get rid of the insect husk. Mystery charms. Okay, they give mystery charms. Do I need... Wow. So much junk. I'm going to get rid of the supply items, I believe. I can use my own. Could just spend the... Yeah, not, not going to mind those again. Seem to be to have higher grade items, but not as high enough to give out rush shards. And I probably want to get rid of the barrel bombs, L plus at least. This should help with the chin breaking. Actually, I could wait until it goes to eat. And then women fire the bombs. Or just do so. Okay, that's good enough. Yes, yeah, so, well, there's the chin broken. So you need to, like, miss the first jab in order to get the shedding off. So let's reload in the meantime. I don't really need to take cover, though, since I can block the incoming attack. Let's take the opportunity to sharpen. How much strength do I have with me? I could use spend a mini whetstone after this. You really have to roll far away for me to reach. Might get a couple of hits to cut off the tail. Ooh. He went with the lance, or again lance, sorry. Somewhat hard to reach the tail. 
at the soft, soft spot of it. Oh, there's the break, so the cat should be close enough as well. I'm going to save the shelling or the women fire until I manage to pull off the cat off the tail completely. And then I just will spend all the women fire and shellings I can, I can on it. The kill should be relatively fast compared to most of the other quests. At least that's one of what I'm expecting. Dead Barnabra there might just carve it for the extra wings. Oh, right. Uh, I thought I blocked there. I might have not. Yeah, I want to carve that Barnabra. It's probably going to despair soon. You. Yeah, there's the Panabra gun. And I'm going to take an energy drink. Top off my stamina. I wonder if you still bounce. No, you no longer bounce once that chin is broken. So it does, so does soften it once it's broken. Okay, do your thing. Alright, I want to go for your tail. Nope, don't. Be careful. Oh, it's rolling away. So, I did drop the first stage, I believe. Oh no, I didn't. Thought I did. And someone else healed me as well. Oh, he's got maximum health. 10 points away from natural maximum. Let's get that tail cut off if it stops turning around. Step back, I'll hit the leg instead. He just keeps moving like that. It's really hard to reach the tail without seething the weapon. Oh, don't miss this opportunity. No, wasted it. Then you're going to die just because you're a dick. Nice block, and now should reach that tail to do some poking and cutting. I um, don't care about the sleep right now. I didn't really get much damage in. hoping to get it before it started rolling, but no. Wow, that must have hurt it a bit. Again, it's so hard to reach the tail from the front side. It keeps turning around and facing you. Okay, so the chin slams can hit you when you're going for the body. Okay, got hit there. Not much. There's another hit. He just dances around. Moves too far to reach the town time. Don't we, will you face someone else? Let's try to move forward. Well, at least I got a few more hits there. Lock. Nice. Keep getting hits to the tail. One at a time. 
Oh, wrong way to. I wanted to side hop, but the move wasn't registered properly. And instead, it. Oh, come on. Really? Okay, block that. Renopolis is dead. No, don't. Oh, if it's not the monsters, it's one of the Kamba Cha Cha that flinch it and push it away. Actually, there's a nice rock that's over there. Yeah, you're going to spend some time with it. Come on, you got better things than that. Uh, okay, I suppose you'll have to move away without a rush yard. Yeah, that was not necessary, I suppose. Chin slamming. And hitting the legs instead of the tail. Oh, exhausted. Let's take a chance here. And there it goes, finally. Well, let's win and fire it. Need to wait until it stands still for a bit. That should be good enough. Nice. Not so nice that I'm on the wrong side. Oh, went through. Okay, that's good enough. Ooh, nearly got hit. Stop blocking in the wrong moment. And there's the kill. Just before the 15 minute mark. Go on the 10th. Just a bit. Well, quite a bit actually. Okay, get rid of the useless items. Start off with the supply. First aids. It's nice I'm carving repeat items so I don't have to discard a waste time discarding. I could try to move here but I'm so full of useless jank rock out. I'm not sure if I can mine anything. Mac oh that would be nice. Let's get rid of the map. Don't need that anymore. Armor sphere, don't really need those. Anything I could No, guess not. Oh let's hope that the rushed shot this time is something worthwhile, unlike all the previous times so far. What well, a nice amount of rewards, although a lot of husks that I don't really need. We've got shells, scoots, leather nuggets, more scales, bone owls, scales, and shells. Armor stone, armor spears, green white, mystery charm, and Uragan jaw, and another nugget from the ranks. And the rest I just sell, the husks. And one, ooh, it's a katana, or a long sword, and it's the iron katana. Thunder resistance plus three, crack shot plus two with a slot. Yeah, they're probably not worth it, but I'll take them anyway. So, this has been the Feudal Puna, and in Anuragan with the Ganlands Weapon Class and the Red Rook as the weapon of choice. Hope you enjoyed the video, see you next time, and good hunting.